Hello and welcome to this session all about checking your course elements and updating your homepage. When you first receive your course it will look similar to the one on screen now. You'll notice there will be a stock image as well as stock text in the box. To change this click on edit and select the picture. Then press backspace on your keyboard. This will remove the stock image. You can then replace this by selecting the embed image icon. From here you'll be able to choose to upload an image from your computer or find a stock image from Unisplash. You can also find a URL for an image and insert it here if you would like. To find an image from Unisplash for example, select the term you'd like to search for and then press enter. From here you'll be able to select one of the results that's posted below. When you select this image and click on submit it will be added to your course. You can then click on the image and use the blue boxes to resize the image. Alternatively you can also click on the image options box which will allow you to change this directly. You can also rename the image here or add alternative text that displays when your users hover their mouse above the image. When you're done click on done. This will resize the image to the conventions you've required. You also want to replace the stock text. Select this and press backspace before typing what you would like to be displayed here for your students. The home page is the first place your students will see when they enter your course, so it's important that it displays exactly what you would like with an appropriate image and text. Click save when you're done. The next thing to do inside your course is to confirm that your SOR elements have been updated. Click on modules and first check that the setting learning goals task has the correct and appropriate tasks inside it. Do this by selecting it and then selecting the preview option. You'll then be able to see exactly what your students will be asked inside this activity. If these do not seem familiar to you or seem to be incorrect, please contact your course organiser, however these should reflect what was raised when you first raised your course. It's also important to check that these are the same inside the end of course activities. When this is done, the other thing to do is to update the tutor page. The Your Tutor page is a page designed to encourage your students to get to know you as a tutor, so please place in here your interests, your experience and things that you'd like your students to know about you. You can do this by selecting the edit button at the top of the screen. At this stage it's also important to check that your zoom link works correctly. Click on the zoom button to go through to the next page. From here you'll be able to test the button that links to your Zoom class. You should click on this button to ensure that it works ahead of your session. This should be added automatically and you should be able to connect, however if any issues arise inform your course organiser. If your course does not have Zoom you can remove this button. Select it by using the edit button on the home page and click on the remove link option. Then press delete or backspace on your keyboard to remove the button altogether and then click save. If you've accidentally removed the button when you didn't mean to or removed more than you need to, that's not a problem. Select the three dots on your home page and select view page history. This will allow you to view the history of your page and you can use the restore this revision option to go back to an earlier version. For more information, follow the links provided here or head to the description below.